Welcome back to the channel guys. We're in the middle of a lake right now. Well, not really in the middle. Kind of on the edge, but in the, and we're in a lake. Anyway, um, I'm pretty excited about today's video. I haven't fished this lake this year. Fished it last year, it was pretty good. Made a video of it last year, but a lot of my footage got deleted and didn't save and it was a big mess and I didn't make a video. So, but we're back for redemption and hopefully we're gonna catch a bunch of them today. Um, I'm pretty excited. I've got a deep diving crank bait, a jig, a weightless Texas rig, and a frog tied on. So um, it's pretty early in the morning still, so I'm probably gonna start off with top water, maybe the weightless Texas rig, I'm not sure, um, and hope we can catch them. So I'm gonna start fishing these little reeds here. Um, I don't know how close you guys can see that, I'm still a little ways off, but um, show up there, fish those for a while. If you can't fish that, maybe move some offshore ledges. Um, we'll just have to see. So let's get to fishing. I think I'm gonna start off with a little weightless Texas rig, this little Senko. Um, not quite sure how this is gonna fish. Don't even really know how deep it is in there. Um, but we're gonna find out. Hope we can get us a few or a lot Need to see. This lake is really seems to be fairly clear. It's not as clear as some of the lakes I fish, but it seems to be pretty. Probably about four or five foot visibility if I had to guess. Kinda, I think my last video I said I caught the tiniest fish I've ever caught. I think this beats it. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Oh. oh, let's go! Freaking stud. Holy cow. Look at that chunk. Heck yeah, let me get out of the weeds real quick. Okay, one last look. Solid, solid fish. Heck yeah. Here we go, buddy. See you later. Well, he had me in some grass, but that was the worst boat flip you guys have probably ever seen. But it's another decent one. There, buddy. Heck yeah. Not a giant, but he's probably at least 15. Heck yeah. Hold up. Let me flip the camera around. Um, you guys can see all these lily pads. I'm just flipping in. I got a, uh, I'm flipping in a Texas rig, just Senko, and it's super easy. They're smoking it. Heck yeah. Second solid fish I've caught in probably 20 yards. There you go, buddy. Thanks for playing. See ya.
Well, I don't know what this is. I've caught like a bunch of them before. It looks like a bluegill and a rock bass cross. If you know what that is, comment down below because I've caught so many of these and I don't know what it is. Looks like a bluegill, but has kind of the shape of a rock bass and the texture of a rock bass. There's a yellow belly and a spot like a bluegill. I don't know. I've caught a bunch of them, but I really don't know what they are. Anyway, see ya. Like I said, I've caught a couple of these fish. Here's another look at them. I don't know why they keep biting my bass lures, but looks like a bluegill but and a rock bass hybrid or something. See ya! There we go. Heck yeah. I was reeling it in and he exploded on it and then he missed it and then he came out and got it. This little dink. So fat though. Holy cow. Heck yeah. Thanks for playing man. See ya. Heck yeah. This is so much fun. The pattern I'm on is I'm flipping this little weightless Texas rig into these lily pads right next to the edge. And uh, right here it's 12 feet and 20 feet in. It's I'm guessing the lily pads are probably about three foot of water. So pretty steep drop off and the wind's blowing into there. The, well, once in a while there's a little breeze. Right now it's pretty calm. Um, it's blowing into those and they're biting. Let's catch some more. Well, that is pretty much going to do it. Um, I fished for probably four or five hours. Um, I had two fish right early this morning, right when I started fishing. That uh, just I had them on, there was reel them in, they came off. So you guys probably didn't see those. I think you might have seen the one, I'm not sure. But either way, um, then I caught those two pretty decent ones. Um, and then I caught those little rock bass bluegill or whatever that cousin you want to call them. And then uh, I cut that little bass at the end, so it's pretty fun. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, God gave me an amazing day to fish today, and he blessed me with some amazing fish, and it was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.